basically all I did was piece of paper, yep. flipped it over, drew round it, cut the holes. So to neaten round the edges, just a bit of sandpaper or a sanding block. So um, I won't do it now because it just takes time, but I'd use a bit of loose, loose sandpaper like this to go round there to do them bits. Yep. Right, okay. So I've got three letters and um, I, yeah, but this is one of our acrylic stamping blocks. Okay, yeah, it's a big uh, block. Yes, yeah, so this is uh, bigger than A4, so it holds the A4 stamps. Wonderful. Um, but I think it was like seven in a pack. Oh, seven right, in really? a pack or something, I think. Not seven big ones, like seven various sizes. Okay. Uh, but I don't just use mine for stamping. Now, if I put this on my glass mat, this yeah. paint, you can guarantee when I go on to the next thing, I'll forget that that's on there <laughs> and yeah. it'll go over what I'm doing or it'll go up my arms or whatever else. When I put it on this, I can just shift it out of the way. That's it. Yeah. I can wipe that. Even if that dries on there, I can wipe it and it will come off. Oh, good. Okay. So, um, yeah, this is acrylic paint. But if that dries on there, that will still come off. Yeah. So I've just painted the letter as I have done the others. See? Moved it out of the way. <laughs> Not messy. So um, that one needs to be dried, but... For this, again, we want more of a dry brush. So this one uh, is painted the same grey. It's yeah. different because it's just because it's dried. And then I'm going to basically dry brush. So okay. I've put a bit of uh, gesso. You can use white acrylic, white you know any white paint. Um, I've put it on there. I'm stamping it off. Sorry to the camera person because now I'm going backwards and forwards. Oh, good. And I am basically. So you're, you're, you're dabbing it back off because you want to get that dry brushing technique. It looks very bright now. It will, it will dry down. But that's just to, you know, I think the grey, I, I like the grey because it was quite a neutral colour. Uh -huh. So it didn't interfere with any of the elements that I'm going to put on. But at the same time, it just looked a bit too bland. Yeah, I know what you're saying. So, yeah. uh, and this sort of gives it more of a shabby sort of chic sort of feel. And that's it. So there that's you your letter. It's got it around, and then again, around the edge of your, um, around the edge of your button. Yep. Ties it all in then as well. Yeah, ties That's it all nice. in, and if you get a bit much on there, don't worry, just rub it off. Absolutely. I'm not wiping this down my trousers. I've got a tea towel. <laughs> I've got a tea towel in my trousers. That's good. <laughs> that everyone wants to know. See, I was always brought up. It is interesting how you, you know, mum, 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 because um, I, because um, my dad is. Uh, Canadian, he's he always brought me up to spell it mom, M O M. So that's yeah. more of an American, yeah, American, yeah. so Canada, America, yeah. I guess. But yeah. yeah, see, I spell it M U M, but then I noticed a lot of people spell it, I don't know how you pronounce it, but M A W. Oh, yeah, there's quite a few people said that. I've done oh. a, a bit of a question on Facebook, and um, yeah, um, and I really do think it's quite a regional thing, or yeah. like you say, regional dependent on your parents as yeah, well, because yeah. that's that's kind of where we pick these things up from. Absolutely. So that will just sort of bring it back in. See, it just softens mm. the edge. And that nice vintage feel. Yeah. Right. I will do the U, but I'll leave it to dry. I won't do that uh, right now, because obviously right. people don't want to see me just doing the same thing over and over again. My brush is too big to go in the pot. It will pull the pot <laughs> over because I couldn't find my pot to bring with oh, me. Oh, bless you. Right, so let's move them out of the way. And then what I'm going to do here is show the flowers. Now, I showed how to make some of the flowers this morning. This is, um, this is one of the different styles of flowers. Okay. So mm. I'll, I'll, I've already shaped these ones. Bit of water. That's it. On the chipboard. I'll hold it away from the side. One spritz. And that's all you need. That's it. And Excellent. then we'll put it on the mat. And that just makes it that little bit more pliable that you're not going to just dig straight through it or rip straight through it. Yeah, absolutely. And I go, I go this way on the leaves to curl them up. Yeah. I'm not doing this very daintily. And then I flip it over and do the centre to pull it sort of back in that way. And then... You can use normal glue on all the ones I've built up. Right. I've used normal glue. I'm going to use hot glue because it's quicker and easier yeah. uh, when you're on air. So basically, I'll try and keep it in the screen. Let's stick that there. Lovely. I love it when it's offset. It really looks pretty. Oh, don't get glue on me, Matt. And again, let's 
round this up a bit so it's it, you know it's malleable but it really can take some yeah I mean not being funny you can spend more time than I just have um, pushing it yeah you know and, and reshaping it and the thing with uh, the water because chipboard's got glue in it works a bit like when you do paper mache okay yeah so as it dries it will hold its shape right good stuff um, so yeah spend a bit more time than sort of obviously I have there I don't know where my oh there's the little stamen thing so you can already see the difference from mm. the flat things that that's making and then again with a little stamen yeah and it's very tactile as well yeah building it up and again, this is something the kids can do. Yeah. And you haven't got to worry like with some of the foam flowers and that, that, that cost quite a bit to buy the materials or that. Mm. And don't get me wrong, they look stunning. Oh, they look so realistic. Yeah. Um, but this, you, you know, you're not worried about because the kids can also then paint it yeah, afterwards absolutely. and stuff like that. So, and that is that flower Perfect. made up. So that's that. So then um, what I'm going to show now with the flowers is to show that you can kind of use any medium we are going to use watercolors to color this wonderful so um the thing that i would say is pick up your watercolor mm -hmm. and then load it quite up then wipe your brush off a bit and okay. then pull it and then pull it to the edges okay so yep. really what you're doing is you're making the middle bits darker the darker yep. darker bits if you get a little line like that don't worry just uh, I mean look at look at how uncareful I'm being with this but it just shows you that you can you know use water and that on there absolutely and it's not gonna buckle it's no. gonna take it I mean you can see this is quite wet uh -huh. yeah lovely so I'm just checking that you can see it on there trying to do this quick because I know people don't necessarily want to watch the same thing over and over but again focusing on the darker bits in the middle and pulling uh -huh. it out lighter at the edge don't forget as well like any other paint this will go lighter when it dries right oh right okay yeah 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 so uh, but again like you mentioned earlier using mm -hmm. the little hexagons Test your watercolour out on that, see what colour it dries afterwards. Yeah. You know, and you don't have to use the whole of a hexagon. You can use, well, it's like with any of these, though. If you wanted to test that and you didn't have a hexagon or didn't want to waste a hexagon, paint a little bit on the back. On the back. Yeah. See how it's going to come out and then make your mind up from there. So now I'm just going to add a bit more dark in and, and again, pull it out. Oh, I've not cleaned yeah. the brush off enough. Lovely. And again, a bit more dark in. Yeah. And... Um, you'll probably find that your lower petals mm -hmm. would be darker than the top ones because they've got the shadow being cast on them. Nice. From the top ones. But again, look at, um, I mean, I'm not really being careful. Once, once the leaves, are, uh, the petals are wet, you'll find that the, it moves far mm. better anyway. Yep. You could get your luscious powders on these, make it a little bit sparkly. You could glitter them up. Like I said, it really takes so many different mediums. It's wonderful. But we did, if people want to watch them being embossed, they can watch it on this morning's show. But anyway, you, you get the idea. Oh, I'll move it off the screen. That's clever of me. Yeah, no, um, good. You get the idea. You can sort of keep layering that up and you can add your bit of yellow. Lovely. And it doesn't matter if the yellow goes onto the red behind it. I mean, I should have tried to be a bit more careful not to get the red on the stone because all it does is make an orange, slightly orange centre. OK, lovely stuff. And that just still, again, looks more natural. You never get one... 100% colour flower. Right, so back to making this plaque. So first of all, obviously decide where you want the letters. And again, these are the 10 centimetre letters. Uh -huh. Right, so I think I'm going to have there. I painted the U whilst you were um, updating people. So, uh, I wouldn't use that. Again, so just a bit of glue on. Mm -hmm. uh, wherever you want to put it. This is so nice to make a lovely Mother's Day gift because that's in March, isn't so it? Is it? Or Nan. Or Nan, of course, yes. Yeah, I mean, I'll probably, um, Lily, if you're listening, get Lily to do these yeah. so that she can do them for her two Nans. So that she can, because how easy is it? Piece yeah. of backing paper. That's it. Which I can help her cut if she needs help cutting. But painting, painting whatever colour she wants. Mm -hmm. And the flowers, again, in the first show, I showed how you can use them flat yeah. and not 
you don't have to do this and you don't have to use all the layers I've shown how you can do use them flat and the nice thing is then with that is kids that can't necessarily curl it or don't want to curl it or that they still look just as good Absolutely. and just as effective how old is Lily? She's eight. Eight, lovely. I mean, I like um, stuff when it's 3D'd up, but that's just my preference. Mm -hmm. But these look good, just as good flat. So we'll do that. With this bit here, uh, it's still wet, but I've watercolored that. And again, I've just put it slightly darker in the middle, mm -hmm. which all that means is I've just put slightly more watercolor there. Yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not difficult to use. This is a bit softer than normal, just purely because it's still wet. I haven't dried it. And then, because your U is up, uh -huh. I'm just going to tuck that sort of behind there. And now with this, the, this is in the sets, and there's a couple of sets that have got different flower pieces in, where it looks like you've got one side that's drawn yeah. and one that's got the cutout on it. Yeah? Yeah. Now, um, you can use them as elements on their own like that. Uh -huh. But that's nice. Yeah. they fit perfectly over each other to give you a layered look. Yeah. Perfect. So now for this one, for example, for the colour, I'm not even going to paint it or that. I'm just going to stick it on a pad because it really doesn't matter if it gets messy anywhere else because I'm going to put that layer over the top of it. Yeah, that's all good. So, and again, if you don't like getting your fingers messy, don't do it like this. <laughs> But when you've got fine pieces, yeah. it's very it's very easy if you're putting the glue on to fill the gaps with glue. Not just when you push it down and it squidges out, but for the glue to sort of fill it. I nearly wiped that on my trash. Oh, thing. nearly. Because my, my, my towel had moved. And then just layer it over. Fabulous. All right, and again, see how easy that was. And again, the kids haven't got to be careful. Nope. It's not like they've got to try and paint that and not get the bits inside. You know, you do one, then you do the other. Done. 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 Lovely. And then, oh, pop that. Again, you've got a bit of height there, so okay. you can pop that there. Oh. And then a bit of glue on, on these. Where do we want the flowers? Oh, that's one so pretty. There. Yep. One there. What about making to sell? Are we all right to do that? Yes. Yep. Excellent. Because they're all, yep, they're all designed and cut and whatever in house. But yep, exactly that. If people want to make it and sell it, and so that is, if I can get it straight, because it's that is the finished pack.